Scorpio! What is going on, my dear? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vibra, it is Scorpio Red Sero. I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the money. I hope all of you guys missed me. Did you miss me? Because I sure missed you. I sure did, boo. Yes, I did. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos in the past. Thank you so much for stepping past and coming through you guys you already know what it do Scorpio you already know so listen Scorpio I just want to give a big big shout out to every last person who has been um, again liking sharing and subscribing booking personal and private readings sending love donations to the page we got a lot of new um, gifts and a lot of new blessings coming into the page we just uh received the law divination um vintage keys cartomancy deck this deck is so beautiful law divination is a reader here on youtube if you guys want to please go step by and um check out her page um she is gifted and lord knows i'm pretty sure she is very very beautiful i haven't seen her face yet but i can just tell she is beautiful so um I thank you guys for supporting me so I can continue to support others and continue to be inspired uh, by other readers and, and their products and things and I can be able to support them. That is like a, such an amazing thing. So I appreciate you guys again um, for looking out for me and, you know, supporting my channel. If you guys would like to book a personal private reading or, you know, if these videos resonate and you guys want to send some support, you can always check out the description box in this video and um, click the about tab on my YouTube page. It has my Instagram, my email, my pricing list, um, my Cash App, PayPal, my Amazon wish list. We have four new decks that are going to be delivered. I believe at some point this week, I believe some um, of the decks are coming today that you guys sent off of the Amazon wish list. And I appreciate, I appreciate, appreciate again. Um, I believe it's an Edgar Allen, Allen Poe mystery. Uh, tarot and cartomancy deck so again thank you oh and then i also finally got the the success oracle deck you guys remember i told you guys that i've been wanting this this success deck that goes with this set for forever remember i told y'all which we are using the love oracles deck now and y'all sent this to me for my birthday last year i believe it was was it it was ever christmas or something y'all sent me this love oracles deck and that that is one of the decks that we're going to be using today the love oracles deck so again shout out to whoever sent me that i forgot your name baby i already have that and i have the music oracles deck so we have the success deck which it has like oprah winfrey and a hope and, and like mark zuckerberg um i believe like um uh, uh dr dre like all these like money moguls and stuff like that on this success deck that i want to use for my career reading so again i'm finally getting some of the decks that i've been praying and would not been wishing for so thank you guys again for the support i'm so excited and i'm going to be so happy to spread the love on my table so again i just want to say thank you um and i can't wait for those other decks to be here so anyway enough about that uh let's go ahead and get into the prayer you know that we always want to say thank you to the lord to the creator for all of the gifts that he has created and has given us our daily bread and the nourishment and the wisdom that we receive so father god we thank you so much for the gift and the power and the nourishment of hope faith that keeps us going and it keeps us believing in ourselves and continue to help us and believe and nourish our blessings and believing in everything that we're trying to create so that we know that we're deserving for every single thing that has been gifted to us we are so much thankful for the keys that are gaining us access to just new dimensions new pathways new blessings and things that you know we've been praying around but god you've been blessing us with things that we never even imagined or that we thought we could have you know like that's that that's the power of the lord for real when the lord's it's like 
the Lord laughs at your plan because we just thinking about things on such a tangible level of just something that we think that we want and something that was better for us. But what God's idea of what he has for us or what's around our life is way bigger than anything that you could even imagine. That's why it's like sometimes you just got to sit back and allow the Lord to just blow you away. You know, like, have you ever applied for a job and things like that? And you are applying for a uh, admin position and you end up getting a manager's position instead you know what i'm saying something else that you didn't even pl apply for you know like they think that you're more equipping more talented for a position more bigger than what you even applied for so i just want you to allow god to continue moving through your life and allow him to blow you away and just bear witness to the blessings of the creator that he is because he is creating blessings around you scorpio and i want you to just be in that safekeeping and that Thanksgiving. Always, not just on Thanksgiving, constantly stay in the presence of Thanksgiving. Because if you ain't thankful for what you have now, you ain't going to be thankful for what he is yet giving you for you to receive. So continue to just express your thanks and, and, and just acknowledge God when you're witnessing the blessings that he's doing in your life. You know what I'm saying? Give him his flowers every day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I got to go, honey. We got the gizzo. Come on. Let's get to the gizzo. Come on now. I'm trying to tell you. You got to give him his acknowledgement now. You got to give him his thanks now, honey. Because when you thank him, he thanks you, honey. When God show up, he show out. All right. Let's get into this for Scorpio. Let's see what energy we got for December, Scorpio. Things is feeling good. Let's see what we got, Scorpio. Bible God, give me guidance for Scorpio. Thank you so much for all of your gifts and your blessings. Let's see. We got the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. I believe that's how you say her name, Uriel. So this is the crown chakra. So you guys have been given the gift of like high intelligence and understanding, like of intuition. Like, honestly, um, I'm going to read from the book on that one. And then you got caring connections. So, ooh. So, I feel like you guys have been given, like, a different perspective of insight, of understanding, of knowing about, like, what true connection is. So, like, when you feel it this time and when it comes around this time, you know it. And I feel like you understand it and you know how to give to it as it gives to you. I, you guys have been... I feel like you've been an open book for everybody to see, like, your transformation and everything that you've been going through. Um... It's like, I feel like your new partner can read you like an open book. Like, this person understands what you're going through, understands what you're feeling. This person may have been going through it theirself, may have been feeling the same thing, understands your same expressions. Um, I feel a deep level of understanding. And then I just noticed, like, how that says 41 and the other number is 14. So I feel like you guys could be like the polar opposite of each other, but at the same time, experiencing the same cycles at the same time. It's like you may have the same thoughts, but express it in a different way. Um, and then at the same time, it's like... This connection is one where you guys have to have a deep understanding of each other and the way each other thinks. Oh, you got the happy family card. So, okay. And then you got the four. Girl, you got 41, 14, and four. Okay, something going on with that, y'all. <laughs> something is going on with that. Oh, uh, I don't want to say that, but I got to say that it says there might be a transition with someone that you've had like maybe four months of knowing like something may kind of turn around in a connection in a relationship like 
y'all just might be friends or something and next thing you know y'all end up in a relationship um, I do feel like this is something where y'all have to really take the time to get to know each other because y'all look the same in many ways, but y'all are very different. It's like a one-to-one -one on expression and acknowledgement of each other. Like, I don't even understand what the hell that means, but because it's like, you see how you got the the four to four, the two ones to right together, and then the four. So I definitely feel like a foundation is being built, but it's like a lot of one-to-one -one conversations where you're understanding the way each other is built, the way each other expresses each other, each other's communication. And because again, I feel like you're you're like dating your opposite sign. So like I'm a Scorpio. We're all Scorpios. So you might be coming in connection with the Taurus. And I ain't even about to lie. I've, I've, had, mm, I've had good experiences with Tauruses. Like, I love Tauruses. But Taurus can get on my fucking nerves, bro. Because, like, like, I really do feel like that. Because Taurus can be frustrating to a Scorpio because... Sometimes they can seem argumentative and combative. It's just like you're saying the same thing. You're saying the same thing as me, but you just so determined to say it different. Like you just want to be, you don't want to agree with, what like the Taurus don't want to agree with what the Scorpio say. Like they just got to say the shit different. And it's frustrating as fuck. But at the same time, I've had, I've had good experiences with people that are opposite to me, and I've had bad experiences with people that are opposite to me. And I'm not necessarily just saying Taurus. I'm just saying that because that's the opposite sign. But I've 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 dated Gemini's that I feel like you are just me and you are not alike at all. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes opposites attract. Sometimes you need someone that thinks a little bit different than you, that sees something in a different angle than you see it at the same time I don't need someone completely completely different than me I need someone again like I said we're saying the same thing but we just have different approaches of coming around to that notion not someone that we're completely <laughs> polar opposite to each other like that's not going to create a happy family to me so it's like y'all I feel like y'all are studying and learning each other like a fucking book or something it's taking time, but it's like, I want to say y'all understand each other's wounds. Y'all might have had the same experiences, but a little different. So it was, I feel like it's like y'all don't judge each other here. Y'all understand each other more than y'all try to point out each other's differences or something. And I definitely feel like someone is trying to give you your roses now while you're here i definitely i feel like a sense of commitment and someone wanting to build a family and like create a marriage have children like a foundation commitment that's what i'm getting yeah i i'm fucking with that i would love a current connection come on scorpio shit <laughs> it's just for me too father god it's just for me i hope so <laughs> Because half of the time I be doing the Scorpio readings and them shits. Some of them resonate with me. But so you know what y'all. Sometimes I'll do these readings. And I'm always doing it with not me in mind at all. And then certain things will come out. Like I'll have a reading today. That is finally making sense in March. And then I'll go back and I'll listen to it. Because you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like yo I know I said this shit. And then I'll go back and it's a couple months later. Then certain shit is just finally making sense. And it was for me. You got the hangman in the reverse. So it looks like someone is finally getting down from a situation of confusion. Um, it seems like you're setting certain hurt, certain pain, certain lessons aside. And you're getting down from your hangups, whatever it was that you were hang up, that you were hung up on, uh, that you kept yourself secluded from the world. Like there was someone 
that was secluding herself from the world because I feel I feel like it's like life just ain't fair sometimes. Um, you had to be turned upside down and see things right side up. Does that make any sense? Like life, life isn't fair to you at all times. Like that's the way that you learn sometimes <laughs> by being flipped over upside on your fucking head and God shaking you like you finished, you done, you learn your lesson, huh? 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 Okay, okay, okay. Let me down. You sure? Cause the last time I let your motherfucking ass down, you did some dumb shit. Now I gotta break your ass. Real good. Okay, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, motherfucker. You sure? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Little bitches, you sure? Yes, yes. Cause y'all Scorpios hard headed. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> Why do I feel like God been ringing your ass round? <laughs> Cause like it's like God is tired of you making the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over again. It's just like, oh my God, Scorpio, like you just hard of fucking hearing. You just like bumping your damn head. I think it's God is like, I just think you just like attention. It's like God feel like you just like scraping your scraping your knee and stuff just to get attention from God so he could come over there and cater and pampy. Like it's like you just like spending time with me, don't you? You just like being to yourself and just spending time with me don't you that's all it is just if you uh, if you just want to spend time with me good just just say it shit you can spend time with me anytime i don't want you to be making mistakes and then i put you on time out like no like shit you just like getting your ass whooped what the fuck <laughs> understanding so <laughs> listen now you got the lady you got the empress here i'm y'all scorpio i'm really i i, I feel like you have been released from a position where you were struggling to get down and let go and release old possessions. That's what it's saying. It's like, you know how Scorpios, they'll hold on to something and they'll hold on to something. And they'll hold, even if it's something that's hurting on, that's hurting you, it's like you hold on. Even if it's something that be embarrassing you sometimes, you still hold on to it. You hold on to it because we're fixed signs. We're fixed energies. Like once we're comfortable with something, even if it's something that's not good for us, our loyalty sometimes will defeat us, you know? And, like, that is why God had to put us in this position and shake us around a little bit because he wanted us to get tired of ourself. Have you ever just got tired of seeing yourself doing the same shit? So, it's like, in order for God to get you to come to understanding, he... He had to ring you upside your head a little bit. <laughs> I feel like you're tired. It's like, I don't want to learn the hard way no more, God. Thank you. Like, can, yeah, can I just have a current connection and be with someone that loved me? It's like, you tired of being hung up on chasing around people that don't respect you, people that don't care, the people that are not listening to the wisdom that you give to them. It's like they... They'll, they don't appreciate it when you're around and then as soon as you're gone, now they want to run back and, and think you're going to chase after them. And then you do. You know what I'm saying? Then you get back in the same shit. And it's like over and over and over again. It's like this time I'm ready to just get married, sit back with someone who just wants to pamper me. And just want we just want to sit at home and just have kids and just eat. And like that's what this is. Beautiful home beautiful life like I really don't want to do nothing but sit up in the house and sit up under each other and just laugh and have fun and have sex and drink wine and like <laughs> and have sex and drink wine and eat food and like smoke weed and like <laughs> like this could be a woman that likes having kids like there's people that like being pregnant like you could be at this point in your life where you like you want to have another kid like you want to have another family like you could be tired of being alone because the hangman in is in the reverse it's like i don't want to be alone like i don't want to be sitting up here watching everybody else having experiences that it's like i'm tired of like learning things the hard way i'm ready to experience this myself like expecting like you know 
I think you guys are expecting something serious to come into your lives. Like, your body may be ready as well. Your body may be very fertile and um, in a position to carry. So, if you... Ooh, and then you got the Princess of Wands. Yes, ma'am. Your body is most definitely fertile, in a position, and ready to carry. <laughs> like, I'm definitely serious. So, this is like the Page of Wands. Um... You're ready to get started. This is like an action card. So I feel like put your best foot forward, strap up your boots and get ready to go. Because I definitely feel like you guys are going to be receiving some passionate messages about someone really wanting to be committed with you and start a family. I, I feel like whoever is in your life really sees you as beautiful um, they are, they themselves are trying to get down off of whatever negative hangups or whatever road blockages. Um, they said this, this, this person is destitute for family. I feel like you guys both are destitute for family. And then you got the six of swords. So it's like, I feel an energy of. People that are being insisted in moving away from things that don't matter anymore. Things that are beneath them. Things that they know that don't need them anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't need them. You see how this man right here, how he has his sword in his hand? It's like he's already made a choice. You see how those three of swords are sitting over there next to her? It's like she's already experienced that. And you see how she's put that aside? You see how those two of swords is right there? So that's, again, that's someone making a choice. And this man is like communicating their decision and speaking the truth. I feel like this is growth. Like that's growth right there. Like two people moving on from the past. Like mental growth. Mental maturity. Do you understand? On both sides. Uh, whatever it was. I, I feel like there's two people that. I feel like I, I feel like you might not even know each other right now or you will begin to know each other. But I feel like after only four months or some shit, like you guys are going to like recognize very quickly that that's the one right there. That's the reason why it was meant for me to get past um, my shit in the past and get to some understanding of why. I just needed to bury that situation and move on and get down from my hangups. It's like there's something better coming into my life with a lot more beauty, a lot of comfort, um, a lot of skills. Like I like the Empress is skilled. You know what I'm saying? She 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 knows how to make things grow and flourish. You know what I'm saying? Like if she goes and plants a seed in the ground. It's not just going to create, like, one flower. Like, it's going to create a whole field. So, it's like, she knows how to make fertile grounds. It's like fertilizing. Like, I'm really getting a lot of fertile. I feel like someone's going to end up pregnant, bruh. I really do. It's like, y'all going to end up starting a family with each other. Because it's like, you're so beautiful. And then you see how she got those chameleons on her dress. It's, I feel like this person is attracted to how you just adopt the situation and how you change. And you don't sit around and just let shit happen to you. Like you take charge. You are creative. Like you are like funny. You It's like you got a lot of uh, of of. Like I said, a lot, a lot of skills, a whole bunch of hidden skills and stuff like that. I feel like a whole bunch of hidden stuff you didn't even start yet with the Princess of Wands. Like, you may just be starting to 
passionately be successful or like someone could see you're at the start of something new in your life something that's about to like really pop off and they see you changing you're, like you're feeling yourself with this green and like you this dress this dress with this heart chakra green and this um sacral chakra orange just like you know your energies are thriving and it's like you're loving yourself and your juices is flowing and your passion is taking off and it's like you are taking off like you've set sail and you're going to a direction where there's calm waters it's like you're moving away from any type of adversity in your life and you're going somewhere you're going somewhere good you know what i'm saying what is this you got the increase card you got difficulty in the beginning Ooh. Oh, I feel like y'all gonna have a difficult pregnancy in the beginning. I'm getting like a lot of morning sickness, like a lot of morning sickness. I'm really feeling like there's gonna be an increase of abundance around you again. Like I said, I do feel like there's an embryo that will grow. I'm really getting pregnancy, Scorpio. So if you guys are not looking to be pregnant, please make sure that you wear protection. I the beginning part of your pregnancy is going to be a little volatile because you're going to have morning sickness that make you just wish that the whole shit was just over. That make you want to like not even be pregnant. Like the smell of air make you want to throw up like on oh God. I'm not even going to lie. But there is going to be a crease of abundance in your life. Like I feel like the money is is flourishing like the home is happy when the home is happy everything else around the home like opens up and there becomes an increase of happiness an increase of joy an increase of resources do you understand um i feel like there might be a need to possibly sit down and you see how she's like sitting down and Relax. I'm feeling like there's possibly going to be a high risk pregnancy or if it's a new project, a new passion, a new um, business that you're starting, a new venture. Um, if you guys are like about to move because, you know, I really do take this as like an action card of some type of movement with this prince. Like she's just getting something started, getting going or she just graduated from college. So she's just starting her life as an adult. You know, as a young adult. So, it may be a little rough in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I'm, like, motion sickness. I'm trying to tell you, like, someone in pregnancy is going to be fucked up in the beginning. Like, once you get past the first trimester, you're good. After, once you get into the second trimester, things will be good. But the first four months, and, and but the first trimester is, what, four months, right? So, like, the first four months of your pregnancy is going to be hard. But there's this caring connection. Like, this man, he's going to tell you, you might not even have to work. So, you know. And I definitely see, like, carrying you to your appointments. Like, this person is assisting you. is going to be with you every step of the way. You know, there's definitely a high level of communication and intuitive, like, communication. Like, you guys may be able to read each other almost. Um, what is this here? It says, work on what has been spoiled. It's almost like you're working with what you got. And then what is this? It says, a standstill. Okay, okay, okay. So, like... Am I supposed to be reading these in the reverse? I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not reading these in the reverse. Um, but I do want to say, like, things are no longer in a standstill. Like, this come out in the reverse. And then this um, working on what you got. I feel like there's, like... I, I, I feel like you've already reached your destination. Like, there's not no need to rebuild. It's... I don't feel things are in a standstill. Like, things are no longer in a standstill. I feel like you have everything you need. It's just um, making a gumbo with what you got in your kitchen. Like, I, okay, so what I'm getting, you, it's like when you move to a new house and stuff like that. You may not have everything that you need in the house. You don't have everything you need in the home. Like I said, it's going to be a little difficult in the beginning. Because if you think 
your, your new apartment, your new life, right? You just arrived here, right? You, you are getting a lot of help in the way. And you do have somebody with you that is supporting you because a lot of times it's not three people in the in the card here. You see how the man and the woman is by each other's side and it's like there's a guide taking them to their destination so it's someone that's coming with you i'm trying to tell y'all y'all have y'all in a new relationship this is the princess of bonds this is a new relationship a new relationship and i'm trying to tell y'all within four months i can tell you you're going to be pregnant bottom line your life is no longer at a standstill. I definitely feel like you're at the point in your life where you're finally getting where you want. You've put the pieces together from what you had from your past relationship. Um, that shit is no longer to be found. You have regrown. And I feel like there's definitely difficulty in the beginning, but you're 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 definitely seeing the increase in the abundance in your life. You're no longer hung up on anything no more. You're growing and the blessings in your life are growing. It says sharing, reaping the rewards, overflow, expansion, flowering. I told you. Oh, encouragement, fertile grounds, abundance. I'm trying. I just feel like shit's going to happen fast because I'm trying to tell you the princess of bonds is like she moves. She jumps in this shit fast. It's like if she gets an idea about something, she gets really excited and she just wants to jump in and do it now. Like she may not even think about it. She just she operates off of, you know, what gets her going. You know, she she just she just doesn't think she just do it says difficulty in the beginning growing pains doubts and fears awkwardness becoming stronger vulnerability and experience so again i feel like in the beginning um it may be a little awkward because again i told you y'all are going to have to take some time to understand each other and y'all's differences and y'all's different ways of thinking but i feel like once you guys get past that because why do I feel like this is your partner and like you may be trying to explain your partner to someone else. Just like, oh, that's just the way he is. Like, to, he ain't going to, whatever you say ain't going to make no difference. That's just the way he is. So it's no point of you trying to explain something to him. He's not going to change the way he thinks. So it's like you knowing your partner and understanding your partner so Y'all have each other's back because you know each other. And I feel like you're the same. You're the complete same but the polar opposite. So that's just like someone trying to explain some shit to you. And your man is laughing at whoever he's talking to. Like he might be laughing to his friend. And he's just like shaking his head because she's just like me. And he's just and I'm just like him. Do you understand? It's no point. That's just like him trying to tell his friend. That's just like you trying to get me to change my opinion. It is no point of you talking to her. That's like you talking to me. Trying to get me to change my opinion or trying to get me to change my focus on something. It's not going to happen. It's not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that y'all have that type of relationship. I don't think things are in a standstill anymore. You guys definitely are working what you have and you picked up the pieces and you no longer are focused on what happened yesterday um because you see this person is planting a new tree i want to say in the past like you were looking back at them old ashes like morning ashes like chasing a ghost or some shit like you guys are planting new trees no more chasing the ghost it says healing correcting past mistakes making repairs clean up corruption restoring balance responsible action yeah you guys are doing what you're supposed to do now you working with what you got and you got something growing that's the difference that's the difference is why i feel like that came out in the reverse it's like you've been working with what you got and now you got something really growing you guys might really have something growing in your fucking stomach this standstill this alienation this stalemate this stagnation this withdrawal this Grinding to a halt, insensitivity, mistrust. I feel like you guys are coming out of that. But again, in the beginning, I definitely feel like it's going to be difficult in the beginning. I feel like y'all may have a rough 
four months. Just trying to understand each other, but I don't even feel like eh, it may be a little because it's just a lot of talking and just like they are okay. They are saying like difficult conversation or currently like you and whoever this person is. Y'all could be at a standstill right now because look at this. You see black and white like y'all to think black and white. You think black. This person thinks white. You understand? So. <laughs> I just feel like you guys get on each other's nerves sometimes. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, what relationship doesn't? Like, what relationship? Like, a relationship where y'all just agree with everything and y'all get along all the time would be boring as fuck. And that's not a Scorpio relationship, so. Scorpio relationship, y'all gonna block each other. So if you if you in a relationship with a Scorpio, just know that this person you gonna piss you gonna piss this person off at one point in time, and the Scorpio is gonna block you. If the person if the Scorpio don't block you, the Scorpio don't love you. Cause the Scorpio only fucking block people that they really fucking love. You got the two of arrows. What is this? This is the two of arrows. It came out in the reverse though. So again, I'm feeling like uh, there may be right now something currently is a little bit off balance. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I just heard if you guys know each other already. Because there could be a there currently could be a standstill. It's like something could be off balance right now within the connection. Um, you guys are not moving away from each other because I feel like y'all are not ready to let things go. So it's like, because you know, this is that thinking that the grass could be greener on the other side card, but. I feel like right now doing a standstill, like something isn't right. Something is off balance here. It's the need to release old hangups on both situations, on both sides. I feel like here. I'm kind of getting that. Because what is this saying? This saying injustice here. It's like, is the heart as light as a feather? Is the heart as light as a feather? It's something here. It, I feel like it's something here. It's something here where there's two people that has a decision to move towards each other, but they're not moving because there is something that happened. It's either y'all, it happened y'all it happened to each other y'all to y'all two did it to each other and y'all may not be talking right now and you may need time to think to each other think to each y'all need time to think about each other to yourself to decide if you think something is better from you for you on the other side or if you should work this out or if you should just let it go because now that, that grass ain't greener on the other side song is playing. I want to say without this level of communication or something, I feel like something feels off balance here. And I feel like someone wants to talk to, it's like you want to talk to each other, but you haven't really come to the decision yet on what you want to do with the situation. Clarify the tools um wands in the reverse. It's like I'm not ready to let go of the situation yet. Or um and again that's over there. Cause remember I was saying it's like the hangman in the reverse is needing to release old shit so that the increase could come. So there could be an imbalance or, or injustice going on right now because you need to just let old shit go. Let old shit go. Like let old shit go and let it really go. Because I feel like they were just target practice. These motherfuckers was just target practice. And you got to understand you cannot sit there and 
soak and wipe your tears and, and focus so much energy on a motherfucker that was just target practice. When it's time to go out there and catch the big fish to really get a deer. Fuck it, to take down an ox. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got bigger things to accomplish. Like, you're never going to learn how to really take aim if you sit up there worrying about every single shot that you miss. You know? Like, you might have missed your first and your second try. It's time to get up and take aim again. Because you know the Three of Wands is like, you already made the decision to take your chances and you waiting for the correct opportunity to come and you going to sink you going to you're going to get it this time you know you're going to land it so it's just stop focusing on target practice get off those old hang-ups and <coughs> <coughs> especially if this is an old situation where you guys know each other and say something just didn't work out the first time because of the differences. There could be something where it's just you guys are just different and you might have to just accept each other's differences. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I there's certain people I love because that they're they're so different. And you might just have to accept each other's differences. And learn to love each other's differences. This, this, this is the seven of bows in the reverse. So it's like avoid unnecessary arguments. There's no need to like direct your energy in a negative way where you feel like you're causing harm to each other. Like there's no need to point out each other's imperfections or constantly being combative and debative. Um, I'm feeling like this is like where someone's constantly having to defend something, you know? So if it's a, it's a thing where I feel like the communication needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, cause I'm feeling like this is like negative conversations because... I, again, I feel like it's somebody that have a hard time understanding each other. I'm feeling like this is some level of frustration. Because um, it's like, I'm not sure if I want to go in this direction or stay put. Um, unless we can figure out how to clear up this communication and get things going where... Um, I'm not feeling like I'm having to defend myself all of the time. This is the eight of stones. So it's like, there's a lot of work that, I mean, not a lot of work, but I mean, there is some work that needs to be put in here, but this is someone that's willing to work. Someone willing to put the guns down. Um, it's like willing to put the guns down and make something positive of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, we need to protect each other instead of arguing with each other. Like, we can make better use of our day, better use of our communication. So, it's like, we can talk to each other without me having to prove every little aspect of everything that I'm saying to you. You know what I mean? It's like, this motherfucker's a fact checker. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything that you say has to be... Checked and balanced. Do you do you see how this is this there? It's like a fat checker, like making sure everything that you're saying is honorable and truthful and balanced and I'm witnessing and I know. So it's like it, mm, I feel like oh they said being distracted by each other's sarcasm where y'all allowing that to get in the way of positive communication. Do you understand? So, it's like, and both of y'all have fucked up sarcasm. It's like both of y'all have <laughs> fucked up sarcasm or something. It's smart ass fucking mouths. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that's y'all's way or something like that. Like that's y'all's way of communication. And that's just how that motherfucker is. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, 
you might not mean any harm. So, it's like understanding when someone is just playing. Y'all just have to take some work to get to know each other. I don't feel like that people need to walk away from each other. But that's how this person is. Like they're a fact checker. They want to understand what you're talking about. So I don't understand what you're talking about. Let's look this up. It's not that I'm trying to um, say you don't understand what you do. The six of arrows. The tra yeah. This Okay. So this is a transition. And they're saying things are turning around, things are moving forward. So, again, I feel like things are still moving upstream. And it's saying things are slowly moving away from the way things used to be. So, it's like, um, and again, this is this one person here. It looks like this man. It's like this person may be slowly moving away because it's like they understand um, the break in the relationship, the uh, the break in the communication. I feel like the break might have had something to do with the communication. Like there, there could have been a break that was needed um, from the standpoint of this man here um, to take some time to think. You understand? Because I want to say there could have been some stress of too many arguments or whatever. And it was just going to take some work and some understanding of how to clear up the communication. Because, again, it's like being too critical or over sarcastic or something that kind of got in the way Um of a caring connection right there and it could have been just the way that person was brought up or the way that person shows love like they may just like to pick with you a little bit just to uh, uh kind of get your feathers ruffled and then just to come in and in and to kiss you down and just be like i'm just playing with you mm, shut up shut up shut up like it's like <laughs> I, but at the same time, it's like, you don't want nobody to pick with you in that way. So, I, I feel like this is someone that is moving away from that notion that, that oh shit, come on now, that's too goddamn, that is too many, so you got the seven of cups in the reverse, so, okay, oh. Now I'm here. All I want is you. Now, all I want is you now. Baby, now that you're gone, gone, gone. Cause being your friend is killing me softly. Your voice is. Don't know where I went wrong. It was my fault. It's been a long time, I've wondered so often, regret gets exhausting. Yay, listen, okay. So, what is going on here? What the fell on the floor? You got the Queen of Vessels, so again, this is you, the Queen of Cups. What else is here? The Ace of Arrows, and then you got the Knight of Vessels, the Eel. The fucking slithering. God, this, this fucking car. I hate this. I, I mean, but this is like a sudden arrival. It's just being blocked for the fucking moment. Because I want to say someone needed a chance to think. They needed a, a time to think about their communication. And like how it comes off to people sometimes. I really feel like that is... There is a caring connection here and everything. I feel like there was a difficulty in the way that they express each other because they're so different. And also, I feel like um, people still needed to work on their self, learn how to play their position, and learn what to do and what not to do to people. You know, um, there's no need to be argumentative and... 
so critical and fact checky. You know what I'm saying? Because it almost makes the person feel like you're putting them down and you're being combative and you don't believe in them. If everything that you say or everything that this person does, like you got to see results, you got to show evidence, you got to, it's just like, damn, you don't trust me or like, you know, like whoever this person was just didn't think that that was cool. And it's like, I really just want to lay up under you and love you. Like we, we spend too much time arguing and communicating with each other about bullshit than loving each other. And that's, why I feel like something may have broke apart and there might be a slight separation um, because there was someone that needed to get over old hangups because that's the way you used to do. That's the way you used to communicate with people. That's the way you can't do things like that in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, because you wouldn't allow someone to do that to you and you don't allow someone to do that to you. And that's the thing. This person won't allow you to do that to them because they are very much like you in a sense you understand what i'm saying so you can dish it but you can't take it you see what i'm saying so you have to understand like a different standard of life and just realize you can't approach someone like that you know it gotta be balanced it gotta be equal again in justice because you wouldn't let someone justify their approach for coming at you in a way that you feel like would bring a negative result so again there is some frustrations in the beginning of a relationship i'm dead and i'm this is all relationship shit right here and i didn't even get to my love cards yet you guys um uh, but i definitely feel whoever this person is they i want to say they're moving away from with this because you see, it's like the, the darkness and all of that stuff like that. I feel like they're moving away from that dark phase. It's like they had like a dark night of the soul, something. It may have been something personal that this person was going through. And that's why you guys are in a standstill right now. Because I feel like this person had to do some personal work on their self or may just be looking for work in general. You know, um... They needed something that made them feel purposeful. It may not be something that has that made them feel purposeful going on in their life right now. And they could just feel like there could be some just injustice going on in their life. And they could have been taking that shit out on you. Um, and that's not fair. But I want to say that this person may be able to work now. Um, or is working now. Or willing to work on the relationship but willing to put the time in willing to show actions by results you know what i'm saying show actions and results ready to prove their self um they may have ruined their reputation with you in the past because the eight of pentacles and the reverse is like a tarnished reputation but they didn't tarnish it with with you that much because their credit is still in good standing right here this is in, in the upright so their credit is still in good standing um they do recognize that, number one, they don't want to leave. I definitely feel like they're staying put because in the upright, it's someone feeling like they want to leave because there was an injustice or something that wasn't right. There's something better as out there. And this one is like, uh, no, it's not. I might still just be hung up on my old bullshit of how I used to treat people. I can't treat this person this way. Um, I need to like clear out all of that old shit from the past and I really need to learn how to operate and approach someone with more respect and just like the, the respect that they deserve just just different. I cannot operate in the way that I used to operate with other people, especially in this relationship if I want to have this type of relationship. You know, I'm willing to put the work in and I'm willing to work on myself bottom line. Um, I'm going to continue to move forward. Might have went through a dark night of the soul. You see the, the the moon back there. So I definitely feel like that represents secrets. I do feel like this is someone that was deeply going through some shit in their inside. Like this is someone that went through their own internal spiritual journey that they needed to come to the realization of 
by their self um this is someone that i feel like is tired of being lonely because i do feel like this person is by their self um but at the same time you see this says morning okay so again i do feel like this is someone that had old hang-ups something that had nothing to do with you but at the same time receiving a lot of opportunities from other people and a lot of options and that could have been um something that caused the standstills because this person had a lot of choices uh or could have had a lot of people to choose from or something that could have been something secret as well um but the whole outcome of it I feel like this person is moving away from whatever darkness that was inside, whatever it was that was being kept hidden, whatever it was that this person was not explaining to you that caused the standstill. I, I'm still, this person is working with what they have. What does it say? Working what? Working on what has been spoiled. Like this person is working with what they have been given. Like. I want to say this person wasn't appreciative. I don't want to say this person wasn't appreciative for what they had going on with you. Because they were still so focused on what they had going on with someone else and how that was spoiled. I don't feel like... And, and I feel like this... Uh, There's a lot coming out in these cards. I'm so sorry. Because that's why, like, that's what caused the delay. That's what caused the delay. That's what caused the misunderstanding. That's what caused the blocked communication. That's what halted the, the, the beginning of this. Um, again, it could have just only been four months. Um, it could have been a relationship that was only four months old or... Something I'm getting a lot of fours and I'm getting a lot of one on one conversations, but I'm getting four four four. I'm getting four 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 and eleven eleven. I feel like this has to do with a lot of internal growth and someone having to get over an old situation and Focus on the opportunity that was presented in front of them and really choosing and making a decision like one decision because this person or someone could have been lost in confusion and not deciding on what they wanted to do and not appreciating what was in front of them. Looks like the queen of, you know, cups right here. Definitely the big fish here. This is a very nurturing, a very giving, a very emotionally secure woman. She is definitely not going to sit around for and deal with no bullshit. Um, she's not going to chase you. She knows what she wants. And, you know, she really doesn't take any shorts or she doesn't um, lower her standards for anybody. So the ace of wands in the reverse. Is this the ace of wands? No, this is the ace of arrows. So this is the ace of... Uh, swords in the reverse so she could feel like the situation lacked maturity um, it could have lacked experience it could have lacked growth um, a person could have had bad aim uh, like the person I mean, I don't want to say this in a, in, a, in, a, in a negative way, but the person wasn't moving very smart. And the Queen of Cups felt like it would be a bad decision to move forward in a situation where the communication was sometimes negative and there's like hidden truths here. Um, and the Queen of Cups knows that. It's like she needs everything to swim upstream. She needs everything to be fruitful. She needs. It's like she doesn't want any unanswered questions here. And there were unanswered questions here.
Um, so until someone was able to like come with sharper precision. She said something like this person, because someone wasn't telling the truth about everybody. She's saying that someone wasn't telling the truth about everybody. And then this is the Knight of Vessels. Like, and again, I don't like this card. I keep calling this card the Slytherin. Now, the Knight of Vessels. Of Vegetables. Oh my God, the Knight of Vegetables. The Knight of Vegetables. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? The night of vegetables. Vegetables to me is like fucking earth. Like that is like something that grows out of the vine. The night of vegetables. Anyway, whatever the fuck. Child, listen. The night of vegetables, I guess. <laughs> the night of vessels. This is like a sudden arrival. This is like um, someone coming up with like gifts, um, writing you poems, sending you like. Like, they may send you messages with, like, music or chocolates with hearts, maybe professing their love. Uh, you know, like, harmless communication. It's like, that. you know, I definitely feel like this person is going to be relentless in their approach. Like, they're not going to just back down. They're going to continue to keep approaching you to kind of tell you how they feel and that you're the one that they love and you know they may be looking for a second chance but the queen of cups is looking for some truth as to what the fuck was going on and like why the communication was so harsh and she doesn't i feel like the queen of cups doesn't necessarily trust and believe and um she, she's not understanding and the Ace of Arrows in the reverse is saying the breath of life. So, I don't feel like she wants to talk. Um, I definitely feel like there is a standstill here, you guys. There is a relationship here. Where there is a caring connection. And you guys are destined to have family with each other. We got Ricky Martin. It says Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Ooh, bitch. It says sex is like exercise. Practice and discipline are essential. The crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. Your friends, keep your friends like bathing suits tight. So again, I feel like yeah, it's like y'all just have like it's a caring connection. I don't feel like this has gone beyond just friendships here. And I definitely feel like this person wants to keep you close as a close friend. I want to say this person is going to try to approach you in a loving nurturing way like trying to protect you like a brother like i want to say hey i just want to make sure everything is going good with uh i want to make sure everything's going good with your car how's the kids doing this is in that uh how's the job yeah how's your how's your leg been going your leg you, you've been having cramps in that leg and you know it's like something like that um I feel like this person is going to try to, and again, I feel like weasel their way, just slithering, just going to slide in. Um, I do feel like this person is going to try to avoid the truth about something. I want to say this person is still going to regret. I want to say they regret not telling you the truth. I still feel like they're still not going to tell you the truth, though. It's like whatever this was. That they were having to release and move on from. I want to say it was like some dark shit. Like a dark, dark secret. And I'm serious. I want to say like this. 
I don't want to say this, but I want to say like someone could have been like gay in their past or something like that. Like they may have been like trisexual, bisexual before or something. And it may be something that they've been struggling with. This is not going to be for everybody. This part right here is not for everybody. So if it don't apply, let it fly, y'all. Let it roll off your back like water off a duck's back. Let it roll, okay? I don't want to hear no wild ass shit in my comments and stuff like that. Or y'all hitting no thumbs down for some shit that don't apply with you unless the bullet hits you because the shit was meant to hurt. Now listen. Don't get your rough, your feathers ruffled for no reason. Um, I do feel like there was someone that has like some type of sexual secrets that they could possibly be ashamed of um mm, they're saying like that's probably why this like that's why the person didn't want to have sex with you because they may still be battling with this type of frustration or something like that it's like it's something that they needed to get out of their fucking system or something but how do you get being bisexual out of your system? I don't feel like you can get bisexual out of your system and just stop. But you know what? I'm going to say, okay, again, okay, correction. There's like, just not an active bi. You know, like, I do know people that are bisexual, but it's like, I'm not choosing to live, you know, the bi part of my, of that lifestyle. I'm in a heterosexual relationship right now. I feel, but still, I don't feel like, um, I want to say this is not necessarily something that this person feels like they have to hide. It's just something hard to tell someone. And it's like to decide if this is someone that I really like and it's going to be in my life long enough for me to have to share this secret with them because I don't just open up and just tell anybody this. It's like I tell Number one, it's like I feel like this person has to decide, can this person handle and really deal with me and everything that comes with me? Um, and is this someone I could trust with me being completely open with, where there's no secrets? I really do feel like this is a big secret and this person wants to, to, to feel like they can trust you where there's no secrets here. You know what I'm saying? Um, they want you... Whatever they want to make sure whoever that they open up to that is the only option. You know what I'm saying? Over everything in the past, the Seven of Cups is someone that went through a dark night of the fucking soul. You know what I'm saying? Like, inner soul journey, inner soul growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, being able to outwardly express themselves to the world and not give a fuck. You understand? So this may be a side note for someone that may be going through something like that. Because on the flip side, this could be a caring connection between a gay couple. You know what I'm saying? So there, you know, there are many people that watch these videos. So if that applies for you, let that apply for you. If it don't, let it fly. If it doesn't, if y'all are just heterosexual, sex is like exercise, plaque practice and discipline are essential so I feel like there could have been a break in the sexual relationship because there could have been some frustration that were being carried on from a previous situation probably on both parts I really do feel like on both parts because if you remember the other card here what is this the expectancy where is it the six of swords you see how it's like both of you guys are getting assistance from coming out of troubled waters. Going to a more common shores. And y'all are having this being done together. So, again, I feel like sex is a good thing in a relationship. But it takes discipline, too. Like, you can't just use sex as an answer. Like, sex is going to solve things. Like, we're having problems with communicating with each other right now. Um, no matter of the beauty, because I do feel like both of you guys are very into each other, very passionate about each other. But it's this more than just that. Like, you know, are we really over the past? Like, are you over feeling like there's all these other options out there? Like, do you really just want to be with one person? Like, you know, remember that song that grass is that that grass ain't greener on the other side like sometimes this shit really ain't greener on the other side sometimes you just really got to 
see if you could work with what you got here. You know? Um, the crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. So, you guys know within each other who really makes your heart tick. Who really makes that heart talk. So, secretly, you guys know how you guys feel. And you can see yourself really being with the other person. And if it'll work. I definitely feel like this is a situation that'll work. And I definitely feel like a family and, and longevity is here. I feel like you guys just have to learn each other. And learn each other's form of communication. And how each other loves. And talk to each other. It, it, it It's not going to start off easy in the beginning. But it will last a lifetime. Keep your friends like bathing suits tight. I really do feel like this is a relationship where you guys come off more as like friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like, all right, we try to talk to each other. You getting on my nerves. <laughs> me go at a safe distance you figure out your other shit and it's like y'all come back around to each other and start off so as friends and just talking and just laughing and joking and fucking with each other and you know what I'm saying and then next thing you know it just you know just does what it does naturally okay so what is this you got the hermit in the reverse. So, again, if it was a situation where people were not talking to each other, I definitely think that you guys are going to come on out of the other side of that mountain. Uh, I feel like communication may open up again, uh, may be more expressive, may be more open in thinking about the future. Uh Each other knows what each other wants. It's like, it's like, I know what I want. The other person knows what they want. And they're not scared to express it. Like, I feel like everyone had enough time to go inside to figure out what they really want. So that people can come out and actually have a talk. Here, you got the Eight of Pentacles again. And then you got the Emperor. I mean, this was turned like this. But it was like, so like, again, I definitely feel... With this coming out in the reverse, I'm going to address it like this. Because I really do feel like it was kind of tilting like this, but I'm going to read it from both sides. I really do feel like the reason why this emperor, and again, y'all could have been dating the Taurus. Um, the reason why this emperor, I'm, I'm getting a uh, Taurus or a Virgo. Um, the reason why... The communication was so hard. And I want... And this person really did... Um, rub you the wrong way. And kind of fucked up their reputation with you. Because... You look at them like as a slouch or something. Like... It, ever things... Ever this person... Physically was not trying to... Like work a 9 to 5 job. And wasn't doing anything for theirself. And like that's why they were so miserable and argumentative and stuff because they were not happy where they were in their life you know what i'm saying like they weren't being a responsible male at that point in time so it's like if you're not putting yourself in the predicament to take care of yourself and take care of others like a true emperor does like would you be happy like would you feel successful would you be having positive conversations? No, because this person is not where they want to be in their life. And it's not until this person kind of turned things around with the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress and the Upright. Now this person is working now. And you can see this person's attitude starting to cheer up. They're starting to feel better about themselves. You can see this person being an active father and being a role model, being a leader. Like, actually, I want to say that this person is a good man. But it's all about how they felt inside, you know, and if they're not putting themselves in a predicament to actually think about their character, think about their strengths, like 
showing their strengths. Like they like they could like they might have been getting a lot of job rejection. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're not able to show their capability, show their skills and show their strengths. So it made them feel fucked up. So I don't feel like they were intentionally trying to disrespect you or hurt you or demean you or make you feel like, you know, any type of way, but they were feeling any type of way about their self, you know? So I, it might have been good that you guys took some time out and, you know, but then again, it's like there could be other secrets that this person might have been holding on to you. Like they might not have been over some shit in the past and they really needed to let it go, you know? So again, it, so the hammer and then you got the paradise. So this person could have very much so uh, self-sabotaged something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person could have sabotaged their happiness, uh, but they see that right now. They see that. They see that. It says, but they're rebuilding, uh, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it, happiness, expansive joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So I definitely feel like this person's, they're fucking hammerhead, like <laughs> fucking hard at it. I want to say that this person... They know that they did things that could have destroyed this connection. I want to say that um, they acknowledge that within their self. Um, they definitely do want to experience this paradise. And I want to say that they're really, really working towards it. They're really working on their self. And it's like you can't find happiness in nobody else if you can't find it in yourself. And this person had to really um, work on their self. Because that was the reason why they were coming off that way. Look, the golden mirror, like this person was only thinking about their self. Self-absorbed. It says self-absorbed, narcissistic, a one-sided relationship, love, love bombing. So um, this person was only thinking about their self. They might not have been thinking about, okay, well, you were not going through their experience. You didn't have anything to do with why they're not working or why they're not in the position. They don't even know if you were in the same position. You weren't, you know, treating them like that. So it was a one-sided position. It was a one-sided position and it was a one-sided relationship because there was someone that wasn't ready to release their own, their own hang-ups and was just thinking about self. And I want to say taking certain shit out on someone, a karmic relationship. Heart healing. Mm-hmm. So someone could have sab sabotaged a caring connection that was paradise. It truly was paradise. Because they were only thinking about their self. They made the relationship karmic because they needed to heal. They, I'm trying to tell you it was old hang-ups. That's advice in regards to love. Cassette, yeah, this person kept playing old shit over and over and over and over and over again. Over and over and over again in their mind, in their head about some other shit that didn't have nothing to do. I didn't even realize that that card was over there. Give me one more card for this. What's the, um, so, Father God, in regards to this love relationship, um, I hate asking what's the outcome because outcome, I'm not into predicting no futures. What's the advice with this caring connection? Can this be healed? Is this worth? Is this connection worth going forward? What's the advice? Is this? I'm going to put this all back. Is this relationship worth pursuing, worth going forward, worth putting the work in? You have that crown chakra with that intuitive understanding here. We have the caring connection and then we have the family. So let's go back to the center energy. We have the seven chakra. 
Okay? The crown chakra. Again, we have the care and connection. And then we have the happy family. So, please clarify the sense of energy. Is this connection, is this new connection worth it? The hammer po popped out again. Okay, so don't sabotage it. Allow it to transform. Because it only, it says rebuilding. It says sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. So don't tear it down. Like allow it to rebuild and allow it to transform. Like see the growth. I, I, I definitely feel like this is a caring connection and like some family and <laughs> a pregnancy will come out of this. You got the healing. Then y'all got the same fucking cars again. Y'all got the healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So, don't just throw it away. I feel like this, this connection is being rebuilt for the future. It's transforming. It's in a transformation period. I definitely feel like God is at work repairing this. I, especially if y'all, if, if this... I'm not talking about no old fucked up situation. Whatever this is, it's fucking new. Do you understand? Like y'all couldn't have known each other for nothing. But this is something that barely even got off of the ground. And I'm trying to tell y'all with this Prince of Wands, this is something that barely got off of the ground. Like y'all barely know each other. Y'all are still trying to know each other. Like this is something where... You might have started dating someone and you realize, oh, this motherfucker's still stuck over the past. But, bitch, you could still been needing to let go of your past, too. You know? So, it's like y'all going through the same thing, but in different ways. Do you understand? I do feel like you guys were like a negative reflection of each other's energy. Like, y'all love bombed each other because I feel like the two people were not ready for each other, but at the same time, the, I do feel like y'all see paradise within this connection. I feel like this connection is being rebuilt. Y'all both had the same hangups, and you guys were mirroring each other. No bullshit. Like, for real, for real, for real, for real. For real. Again, it says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. Enjoying each other. Like, you, you guys do enjoy each other. I feel like don't throw it away. Allow this shit to transform. Let's get the last word of advice. And then we done, Scorpio. Because it's probably a damn two hours of fucking reading. Oh, my gracious. I ain't even. Y'all probably not even going to watch this one man, this video. Shit. But damn, all of the videos this month has been on. I'm like, we going out with a bang. This is the last video. The last reading for 2020. Let's <laughs> show me the money. Let's put all of the energy in there. And shit, I feel like this is a good reading. Because there's definitely a new connection that is being worked on. I feel like there was just some hiccups in the beginning. Y'all put it down. Y'all about to pick it back up. It's definitely going to be a long journey. I definitely feel a long journey here with this Scorpio. So let's see. What's the last words? How we ending off. Okay, the Queen of Wands. How we ending off. The Eight of... Okay, okay. So we got the Queen of Wands. And then we got the Eight of Swords. So I feel like the difficulty is over. Like the nightmare is over. Um, I want to say like you guys have been having like some bad dreams. Um... About this situation. It's like y'all. I want to say like y'all couldn't stop dreaming about each other. You were dreaming about the situation. It's something. It's like. 
you know, um, it's like finally being released from thinking negatively about the situation. Um, it's like my thoughts can't harm me no more about this. You got the two of swords, so I feel like you finally got a chance to like let it be aired all out, um, release the tension. Um, I want like you guys both really got a chance to air each other out. Like um, it's just like just to get the tension and the frustration out, release it, allow it to be in the past, and let it go. And regardless if you guys like what each other had to say or not, it's just, I feel like there's blunt honesty, there's blunt truth. Otherwise, it, it's like otherwise you really wouldn't be able to think straight and really see the facts. Because if you really think about it, the two of swords and the upright, it's a stag, it's a card of stagnation, it's a card of not movement. The card shows a woman sitting on a bench with her ears and her eyes covered. So not being able to see, not being able to hear, not being able to think straight, to make a decision about something. Nah, we letting everything out. I'm like, we about to let the guns blow. Motherfucker, I didn't like you because you were too argumentative. Everything you were saying out of your mouth was negative. Like you just be waking up on the wrong side of the bed and, and like we would talk about certain shit. You would talk about like you didn't believe in yourself. And I didn't like that shit. You know, like, you will blah, 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 you will bloop, 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 like, it's like y'all are just letting each other have it. And this, and the person could be saying, like, well, I didn't like that you did X, Y, and Z, and blah, say blah, and you always be making it seem like everything is all positive, everything ain't all positive all the time. During that time, I'm being honest, like, I was going through some shit. You know what I'm saying? And maybe we just came, I just wasn't expecting you to come into my life at this point in time, but... I made the decision that I don't feel like it's worth me not knowing you. I feel like we can get past whatever the communication issues is. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we just be honest with each other. And I'm just laying all my cards on the table. And you just let me know what you want to do. You got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. And then you got the King of Wands. You got the King and the Queen of Wands. I'm trying to tell y'all. There's no need for y'all to be in the opposition with each other. Like, for real. I definitely feel like the nightmare is over. Like, whatever the burdens, whatever the drama, whatever the trauma was, I feel like y'all releasing old trauma and old nightmares and worries. Like, y'all not going to work. Y'all not going to hurt each other. Both of y'all had to release old burdens. And I honestly, like, honesty is the best policy. Like, don't be holding shit inside like be blunt like shit i don't give a fuck if me and you gotta argue sometimes like let's argue tell each other the truth so we can love each other i just you know what i'm saying like you two i feel like you guys are good for each other remember i said you guys are the same but different same shit but in different forms like, that's how y'all love on each other. Y'all love hard. I definitely feel like it's a fixed energy. Like, y'all are fixed on each other. The will is definitely turning in your favor. Talk it out. Talk it out. Talk it out. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I definitely feel like y'all gonna have some babies with each other. So, talk it out, you guys. See how things go. Like... Don't be scared to speak up and, and tell people the truth about how you really felt about the situation. You know? Bottom line. So, Scorpio, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed this long-ass goddamn reading. <laughs> I'm the fuck out. Peace.